into evil. <laughs> Straight into the question. Mm. That's a good question. For me personally, I've I've followed Evo for a long time. Um, I've I've got to be introduced into some of like my favorite gamers that I've ever seen play. Um, so the fact that we was able to go, I think, was just not only just a life changing experience, but it like kind of added fuel to the fire of like, hey man, like we're here. We're coming back, so you might as well just get in with the festivities. Yeah, I think on my side, I think seeing what seeing what last year was, uh, being in the Michelob Ultra Arena, um, seeing the grand finals for for Tekken, seeing the grand finals for Street Fighter, um, I think it kind of gave me that rush and that excitement of what it felt like playing baseball and being in the professional baseball world. I'm going to be the uh, head coach for the University in Mount St. Vincent in the Bronx. Um, so part of this is also an experiment for me of understanding what's the mindset, how do we go into competing, um, you know, what about the nerves and, and, and all of that. So uh, part of it is educational for me, uh, but also part of it is just to be back and be involved in the actual experience of, of playing and competing. Uh, in Street Fighter, which is the first real title that I've kind of fallen back in love with. Yep. Holy um, as far as my favorite moment from EVO 2023, it had to be watching the Street Fighter, the, the Street Fighter 6 finals, being like all the way up in the front row with Lopez, like being like sitting on the ground covering it with holding the camera, seeing the excitement coming in and out. Still my favorite moment though, like, and, and, and we have it, and, and maybe you could show it as well, is day three, we were doing a recap of, of the whole uh, experience of, of day two, going into day three, what our expectations were. Um, we just timed it up perfectly, where we finished the recap, Lopez was like, come, come take a peek. As soon as he opens up the door, or as soon as he opens up the curtain, the crowd just goes nuts. <laughs> Everyone's chanting Chipotle. So I think uh, I think that I think those two moments for me of like like just being a fan. It's really hard to pinpoint a specific instance, but I would say us being able to see live the Mena reset yeah. against Angry Bird. Yeah. I'm telling you that. Mena is a, is, a, is a fierce competitor, like, and you don't really truly understand, like, what goes into it, but you, you happen to get a glimpse when you're able to be up front and actually see it, the emotions. Um, all of the competitors, very, very humble, right? Actually respecting their opponents and, and, and the work and the time that they put in. It just gives you more to cheer for, and it's, and it's, it's a weird feeling because when you're in that moment, sometimes you don't even know who to cheer for anymore. Yeah, because everyone is good. Everyone is going crazy. The hunk out there, like it's, it's a, it was just a wild time. My main characters, I would say definitely Ken, just because Ken has always been my go-to. I've really loved his character, like literally since Street Fighter 2. I've been playing the game for that long, and of course his best move, the Shoryuken, like it turn, it's, it's, it turns fire. It's fire in it, like. Ryu could never, could never, could never. In Tekken, and this may be someone else's uh, problem problem to deal with, but it's all right, we'll talk about that later. Alisa, Alisa is amazing. So my main is Blanca, uh, pretty much all because of Mena. Um, <laughs> Mena's I, the I, boy. I got, um, I got into, I got into playing Street Fighter consistently with Ken, with, with Lopez's help, but I've really transitioned into Blanca as my main character. Mm -hmm. um, his, his move, Wild Hunt, to me is like... It's great. Yeah. It's great. It's I a mean, good move. <laughs> it's, the, the, anima it's good. the animation on it is, to me, it's like, it's such a rewarding feeling of being able to like pounce on someone. Yeah, if you could punish with that, it's crazy. Punish, yeah. hit, and then just toss them aside. Yeah. I think I think that he's that. very versatile. He he has a lot of different kind of tools that he can use to either gain distance, yeah. keep something like E. Blanca's a, a tricky one. 
Um, Simple question. It's a great question. So I played Tekken a little bit. I still don't understand the mechanics of, of Tekken. Um, <laughs> when I picked up when I picked up the controllers for Street Fighter, it just kind of flew. It it, it it just worked out a little bit better. I also played Street Fighter as a kid on, on at, at the arcades, um, and I think when it came time to uh, learning the skills and learning the mechanics of it, I think Street Fighter for me personally was just an easier way into the fighting games. And then once I kind of learned it and understood it, I have a lot of catching up to do. Ryu, Chun Li, Akuma, Bison, Zangief, Geek, Honda. Honda. A run back. Mena versus Punk. I gotta see that happen again. That series was probably the greatest. Aside, of course, from the final match, but that that one particular series was amazing. From beginning to end, it literally came down to like the last match, right? Yeah. Like reverse speed. Three. Yo, Punk, Punk, Punk was up. Too he up. was up. Then Mena came back. Then they were doing a little tit for tat. Mena had Punk's number. Punk was trying to get out of it. They still brought it back again, and then it came down to the final game. Punk, Punk was in. Punk was in a good groove to start, and then yeah, Mena just it, is, it broke. It broke down. Yes. Um, Tekken specifically, Genghis Khan, uh, I really wanted him to go far last year, and he did. Like, he did great. Uh, I wanted to see him win it. Shout out to Arslan Ash, like, he went crazy. So, looking forward to seeing him. So, great competitors. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure Lesson is probably going to be there, too. So, there's a few characters on the Tekken side I'm excited to see. Um, I want to see what Sonic Fox is talking about. He got to be in the building somewhere. So, we'll see what he's working on. Um, of course, Mena, Punk, Angry Bird, like of course the the, the champs, the, the 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 greatest. I expect to see them, and I and I'm looking forward to see them. Yeah, I think obviously I'm excited to see uh, I'm excited to see see Mena. That that I I, I really do enjoy watching Mena. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing a lot more content uh, on YouTube with Chris Wong, so I definitely want to kind of watch him and, and track him a little bit. Um, and then really, I just want to kind of see who else pops off. Obviously, Idom is here in New York. I know Shine is, is here in New York as well. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, anybody from New York, I kind of want to start seeing and, and, and following a little bit more. Um, and, and really, any of the younger guys uh, that, that are kind of popping off is, is what, what I'm interested yeah. in. Yeah, agreed. I feel the same way. Yeah. We'll see. Represent for New York, man. Represent. For New York, yeah, I'm t I'm tired. The Knicks didn't do it. Someone's got to do it. I think I'm going to do pretty good. Uh, definitely a little nervous. Uh, I haven't uh, I haven't competed or been outside of competing against you really in in, in the office or 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 at, at OS NYC. Yeah. NYC. Um, but I'm excited. I think I really think from. You know, the practice that I put in, from the training, um, from really learning the character, but also watching some of the top players play with the character. Um, I think I have a pretty good idea and understanding. And I think at the end of the day, whoever I'm going up against is probably in the same boat as me as the first time being in there. Um, so having the confidence going in, putting in the prep, uh, understanding, you know, the process that it took to go in, and really just sticking to my game plan of, you know, what my opening moves are, um, what my plan of attack is, and, and I have a couple different game plans for what character that person might be going as. Um, so I think with with everything I put in, I think I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. I, I'm, put it like this, I'm gonna try to win every game. There's, there's, there's no doubt about that. Uh, Tekken I think will be interesting for me. Um, I love Street Fighter, always have, always will. Um, the last Tekken game that came out, so Tekken 7, really good. Like, I love all of the Tekkens. And Tekken 7, I started to really take the game a bit more serious. When 8 dropped, it was just like, it was instantaneous. So I've been putting a lot of time in. Uh, I hope it's enough. Uh, top 6? I don't know about top 6, but maybe, 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 maybe. I think on I think on my side I think it's opening up the doors 
uh, opening up the doors of possibility for, for students to know that they can compete in, in events like this, um, even at the local grassroots level. Like, go out, go play in a tournament, go see what it's like. Um, I also think the preparation side of it, whether it's the gameplay, learning the characters, understanding how some of the professionals are using the characters, what their play style is, um, and then lastly, really just providing providing an overall experience. Um, even though our students are able to go out to Vegas to compete to see everything that's happening, we want to be able to bring it directly to their classroom and, and really showcase to them that this is actually what's happening. This is how to follow. This, these are the steps to get there, um, and and you know, sh showcasing the world what what a gaming tournament, uh, as well as it is run by by Evo. You want to start with Tekken? I'll talk. Let's talk about Tekken. Um, Tekken is going to be really interesting. Um, most of the main players, like somewhere in the pools, like. Asuka, um, Lily, maybe see a couple of those. Uh, Huarang, right? Um, maybe Jin somewhere. I am, I have a slight concern. Um, I guess we could say concern. Um, King is a very interesting and very well known and reputable character. So shout out to King. Uh, I expect to see King somewhere by someone just doing straight up Death Cradles. Um, uh, you know, I would not like to be matched up with him just because uh, the grabbing is awesome when you're doing it, not when it's happening to you. I would have to assume Akuma is definitely going to be... He's going to be high up there. He would, have, he would probably have to be in the top two that's going to be the most used. I also would say Eddie is probably going to be up there as well from, from at least what I've been seeing in terms of my like ranked matchups. Ed. Ed, sorry, Barry. Um, Two Eddies. Um, Ed is nice, though. Yeah. I, my whole thing, my whole thing from from seeing what the rank looks like mm -hmm. and seeing what the tournament side of things look like, I'm really curious to see because obviously I've been getting flooded of playing Bison. Akuma is always. Online, everywhere Akuma here. is always. Um, but I also wouldn't be shocked if some of the OG guys, um, like I still wouldn't be shocked if I see Mena playing with Luke. Yeah, that's interesting. And, and, yeah. and, and I wouldn't be shocked if I, if, if obviously, you know, some of these, uh, some of the other players, you know, I wouldn't be shocked still to see some of the guys rocking with Ken and, 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 and seeing that whole side of things. We'll so. see, I think we'll, we'll continue to see a lot of the classics. Like Ken, we'll see a few. Uh, I know we'll see Cammy somewhere. Yeah. JP we'll see a couple of times. I just want to know if characters like Zangief yeah. can make it into like the top six or like the top 16, 32, whatever. Like it's those characters who like you love to use, you love to see, but like you never really see them all the way at the top when it comes to events like this. Yeah. Um, but it'd be cool, man. I, I I don't know. I would love to see a lower tier character, like somebody just pop out and just dominate. It it's it's interesting seeing. I think that's the one thing with Street Fighter. I think with all of the DLC characters that have come out mm -hmm. since the last Evo, I think it's really fascinating. Like it's been a year, and there's a handful of new characters, yep. and even in the last two three months, there's even more more, yeah. more right. Mm -hmm. So. I think looking from a character standpoint, I think looking at, I think Akuma, if I have to take a guess right now, I think Akuma is going to be the most popular, One of the most popular yeah. characters. We'll see some Bison, I know for a fact. I uh, still wouldn't be shocked, we'll I still wouldn't be shocked though if in the top 24, if it's more of the OG players. 